I'm heading off to London. I'm shooting tomorrow with a brand and because it's a really, well, it's an early start, I thought I would head to London this evening. So it's Monday the, what is it? Uh, so it's Monday, I don't know what the date is. Um, I think it's like the 20th or something. And I'm heading down to London because I've got a shoot with a brand. Um, so I'm going to be doing that pretty much all day tomorrow. It's an early start and which means that if I actually had to get to London for the shoot, which starts at 8 a.m., I'd have to leave my house probably about five, because um, it's a good two and a half hour journey. I have to get multiple trains. Um, so I thought I would start this vlog because I've got quite a lot going on um, the next couple of days. Definitely vlog worthy stuff. So let's go to, the oh, also, I just had a lovely email from um, Trainline saying that my train to London has been canceled. <laughs> I just love a cancellation like I don't know what's going on what 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 is going on so the train that I do end up hopping onto will be absolutely rammed full um so I'll be lucky to get a seat yeah wish me luck couple hours from Japan would you stay awake I'm losing touch of who I am when you're far away I'm running in circles around you mm. And I know I've been acting strange for a while But I want you close I look so tired and I am I'm extremely tired it was an early start it's quarter past seven and I am going downstairs to get my taxi to um, the shoot so I'm shooting with brand I'm not going to mention the brand just yet just because I don't know like how far in advance when I don't know when this vlog will go live or when the content will go live I don't want to spoil anything but oh there was some drama last night well a little bit of drama last night and uh, I'm actually staying at a different hotel a different room but I'll explain all that when I'm back just because I'm in a rush right now and I want to head down um to get my taxi make sure that make sure that I don't miss anything so yeah actually out of breath and I'm out of breath from just lying on this bed the shoot itself was really successful like it went really really well um but guys I gosh I think the last time I spoke to you guys was when I was heading down to London so for me to get down to London I need to get two trains 10 minutes before I needed to get my first train um I got an email from train line saying that my London train had been cancelled and I was like oh my goodness so because that train had been cancelled the train which came after that was then really packed like those people just stood up and I was like there's absolutely no way I am gonna stand um or sit on the floor for two and a half hours i'm just not going to do that so then i waited another half an hour or between half an hour or an hour for the train after that <clears throat> so anyway i got on that train and it was fine so that was the first <sighs> dilemma <laughs> once i got to london i went to the hotel which i thought i'd booked and turns out i hadn't actually booked that trip I hadn't actually booked that hotel, I'd booked a different Z hotel. So whenever I come to London, I always like to stay in Z hotels just because they're like cheap and convenient. They're always in really good locations and I usually stay at the one at Tottenham Court Road. Anyway, I'd accidentally booked the one in Soho and I don't know how how I made the error, but yeah, I'd accidentally I'd accidentally booked the one in Soho, so um realized that went to the right hotel got to my room i'd booked 
um like a queen room which was one of the nicer rooms because i knew that i was staying in london for two days and because i'd booked it the night before um there wasn't really that many options so the only other option was like a smaller room without a window and i feel really weird about staying in rooms which don't have a window so <clears throat> i opted to um kind of like upgrade myself i don't know if it really was um, upgrade my room and stay in a slightly nicer hotel no stay in a slightly nicer room i got to my room walked in i was like this doesn't really look like what i paid for but so yeah i was a bit disappointed with the room that i booked uh i was like Do you know what it doesn't really matter i am gonna get in the shower um wind down for the evening because i've got an early start my shoot the following day today um was at eight o'clock which means that my taxi was booked for half seven which means i need to get up for half six six o'clock half six get ready put my makeup on do my hair get dressed it takes me um a long time to get myself together and i like i don't like to rush so i was like half six is the absolute latest i can wake up so i had an early start anyway i got in the shower i looked up in my shower and my shower had like mold all over the ceiling i was like Ooh. like it was gross i was like oh god this is so bad um bear in mind i'd upgraded and um, so they're technically giving me a nicer room um but the but the shower had mold all over it and if you know something about z hotels the room and the shower are all in one so um it's not like the bathroom is a different room like down the hallway no as i'm sat here i can see the toilet and i have absolutely no issues with that i'm not bothered because it's just me and i would rather stay somewhere that is nice convenient low like good location and i don't want to spend loads of money like i don't want to spend loads of money on hotels when i saw all of the mold in the bathroom i was like oh gosh this makes me feel a little bit ill like it it's gross it's gross and then i got out of the shower and like the room was really run down like i've never stayed at z hotel soho i'm just saying what it is okay because you guys are my friends and um like i'm gonna give you guys honest recommendations i feel like a lot of the time like content creators influencers don't want to say things and i'm not bashing z hotel because i'm currently staying in a z hotel um but the one in soho is a little bit run down and the bathroom yeah like i said the bathroom had mold on the ceiling i was like this is this is gross um <clears throat> considering i was paying a lot of money um even though it was cheap I was paying a lot of money for a room which was essentially a box with a bed and a bathroom <laughs> um so i was like i'm really not happy with this um but i'm not gonna say anything whatever sat on the bed the bed was lit felt like a brick felt like a brick i was like okay i i can't do this i cannot do this so in my pajamas you're gonna laugh but in my pajamas i went downstairs to the reception i was like i'm really sorry like i don't want to complain and i've never i've never done this before never but i was like do you know what put your big girl pants on you have paid for this room you've paid for this room you paid a lot of money for not a lot um you deserve to stay in a room which doesn't have mold all over the ceiling and a bed which doesn't feel like a brick so then i went downstairs and i went downstairs and i was like um like i'm really not i'm sorry to complain but i'm really not happy with my room i've got mold all over the ceiling and also my bed it's really really hard like and like i showed them a picture of the queen room and what it's supposed to look like and i showed them the room that i had and i was like these rooms look completely different and i understand that they always photograph their best rooms i get all of that but to be honest like the mold was probably the worst thing like there's just no way that i am staying in a room with moldy walls and where the bathroom and bedrooms are all in one like there's like we it's all in one okay and also um the rooms have windows but the, you can't open the windows so there's no ventilation so if i get a shower obviously like showers and all that just make them all worse and then i'm just like in a room like which is moist and has damp and there's no window i can't open the window and it was just like making me feel really ill and i'm paying money for this this is not free okay 
um so i was like i'm really not happy with the room is there anything that we could do about it can you change my room can you um change my hotel can you transfer me to the one that i normally go to which is the one in tottenham court road is there anything that you can do because i'm just really i can't stay in this room it's just not good one of the staff members came up to my room and i showed her i showed her the mold and i was like it's bad and she kind of agreed like she didn't want to say too much you know obviously she has to be professional but um she was like yeah i can see the mold um like there was so much of it i would insert a picture but i don't want to put them on blast but when i said there was mold it was damp mold patches everywhere oh she came up to my room and she, I, she said there's nothing that we can do but um we're fully booked so i can't change your room the only other thing that I can do is I can put duvets. I don't know what's going on. Oh my god, what's going on? What? Okay. I don't know what that was anyway if, the, if it's anything serious i'm sure somebody will come and knock on my door and tell me to leave <sighs> oh anyway the drama continues as you can tell um anyway she came up to my room and she said that the hotel was fully booked There's, they can't move my room but um they could possibly move me tomorrow if another room becomes available um but the in terms of the actual bed and making it more comfortable for me the only thing that they could do was put another duvet cover on the mattress so that it had a little bit more cushioning i was like mm, but that doesn't really fix the mold issue i just wasn't willing to stay in a room which had mold everywhere with no window and no ventilation so anyway I ended up asking them for a refund because I was like I'm really just not happy with this like I'm not I'm not happy with this at all um I asked them for a refund um and she went and asked her manager like the girl who was helping me was so sweet but she went and asked her manager and asked if I you know asked if I could get a refund she said yeah we can refund you the room um so then at like 11 p.m at night in my pjs thank god I had like a big coat thank god I had a big coat in my pjs I went i packed up all my stuff put my coat on and i went to this z hotel which is the one on tottenham cot road if you are staying at a z hotel which i highly recommend them i've stayed at the one here i've stayed at the one um near all of like the lawyer like the barrister chambers i've stayed at that one as well i can't remember what it is bank and is i think i feel like it's near bank but anyway um if you are in london i would highly recommend a z hotel they're very small you're not getting a lot but they're they're fairly priced for what you are getting if you're not willing to spend like loads and loads of money um but do not stay at the one in soho i'm i'm gonna be honest okay i'll be honest like this is what my channel is about you guys trust my opinion i hope and hopefully you see me as a credible source stay at zed hotels but don't stay at the one in soho because it needs a lot of work and it, it was gross okay so yeah it was funny walking through soho on a monday evening in my pajamas a suitcase big coat on i bet people were looking at me like what what is going on so anyway i ended up just booking you know this room for two nights i had a pretty good night's sleep yeah i've had a interesting couple of nights as well oh gosh oh i forgot to tell you guys about the pizza that i had last night have any of you guys ever been to pizza pilgrim pizza pilgrim when i called jack <laughs> i called jack last night and i was like jack uh i just got a pizza because uh, i was on the train for like two and a half hours but by the time i got to london i was absolutely starving um so i ended i just want you know i was cra i was craving i was craving authentic italian pizza just like nothing too cheesy i wanted all the dough the carbs everything anyway um i just typed in pizza takeaway in soho google recommended pizza pilgrim went to pizza pilgrim 
it was bad it was so bad i got like this spinach pizza with sausage on it and i was like mm, mm, yummy yummy the pizza was gross <laughs> the pizza oh if, if it sounds like i'm complaining i'm sorry but i need to vent to somebody right now i am sorry for complaining but it's just funny i got this pizza the pizza was gross it was so bad um by the time i i mean it was only a 10 it was only like a 10 minute walk from the takeaway to my hotel but by the time i'd got back to the room the pizza like the cheese has hardened and i'm not the biggest fan of cold pizza but it's okay i'll eat it i'll eat it i know some people love it i'm not with them i'd rather have a warm pizza the issue wasn't the temperature the issue was that um the dough like the actual dough was the chewiest it was the chewiest piece i've ever eaten in my entire life it was so chewy that like I wasn't even just feeling it in my jaw and you guys know that I have jaw issues I have a bite issue which means like my jaw is just all messed up like my bottom jaw is a lot is like more forward than my top jaw and it's just a mess and I have these um really bad jaw spasms and um grinding issues I literally get the most the worst shooting pain it's so bad that in the last year or so I've been getting Botox in my jaw to freeze the muscle in my jaw so that I can just um not live my life in absolute pain and feeling like every spasm and jaw and nerve twinge in my face it's horrible i experienced that but i get botox now like i said so that sorts that out but i wasn't even feeling the pain in my jaw i was feeling it in my temple like the pizza was so chewy that like it was hurting my temple like, i could feel like the here it was like pinging up like the muscle was working hard it, she was doing overtime okay so then i was like oh I, i'm not enjoying this pizza also it had spinach on it and i didn't realize my area i didn't really read the menu i was in a bit of a rush i was hungry um the spinach on the pizza was bitter it tasted like it would it, it was like sour it was like sour spinach and sour sausage um i thought there was something wrong with my mouth and the taste in my mouth but it was just that pizza anyway i gave up i had two slices of this pizza gave up and literally got back out went to the mcdonald's opposite my hotel and just got some chicken nuggets <laughs> actually no, i got chicken select um with chips anyway i'm done with complaining um uh it's about lunchtime right now so uh, I feel like London, I'm trying to figure out whether I should just wait till 2pm to head back into town and have a look around the shops or is London just busy all the time? I assume London is busy just all the time so there's no point me like waiting until after lunch because I'm sure it's going to be busy but anyway I'm going to head into, I, I want to look around the sh I want to look around the shops so I want to look in the Abercrombie shop because there's a pair of jeans which I really want to buy online but I want to try them on in store um, so I want to go into Abercrombie, I want to go into H&M Home, I want to go into Zara, like for whatever reason, I'm craving just, I'm craving Zara, and I don't know why, because I kind of went off of Zara for a long time, I feel like I like Zara in summer more than I do autumn, like it's one of the only brands which I really shop there i mainly shop there in summer in autumn i get the odd thing here and there but i always think everything's so overpriced like their coats are like 150 pound for not much um so anyway i'm gonna go into zara and have a look around there and hopefully the zara here is better than the one that we have in leeds um so yeah i'm gonna do that when looking h and when i'm gonna look in like bershka i might even look in like selfridges and look at like designer stuff and dream <laughs> um but yeah i just want to have a look around i want to get some steps in okay i want to get some steps in i've already like i've already walked around for quite a few i've been on my feet all day so i wanted to get back to the room and just chill but i think now my feet are relaxed um yeah i'm gonna go look around the shops and i'll bring you guys along with me Set. Just 
so it's my final day in London I have just packed up got ready for the day I have a couple of I have a couple of um, appointments <laughs> um, events i don't know what to call them i'm visiting the h&m showroom this afternoon and then after that i have um an event slash appointment drop in at um with nadine morabi which is a um occasion wear brand and they are in london for the day so they asked me if i wanted to pop down to go see their pop-up um so yeah i'm doing that First of all, I'm so hungry. I need to check out, go grab some lunch. And I also want to go to Selfridges because I really want one of those Skims dresses. You know, the ones which have gone viral. Now that we're in winter, I feel like it's the perfect time to get it before it's summer and everybody wants it. So I'm going to head into Selfridges and have a look. I was going to go look there yesterday, but I just didn't have the energy and I needed to do some editing. So yeah, that's what I've got planned today. But first thing i need to do is go get some food because i'm starving <laughs> it's like 11 o'clock um so i'm gonna have like brunch <laughs> dresses because i feel like winter is the time to get them because i know the minute summer will get here i will not be able to get my hands on them so i thought i would go into selfridges and try them on and i am blown away they are incredible they're incredible and you guys know already that i'm a huge fan of skims i have so many other things um already in my wardrobe but i really want at least one of these dresses um i think i might get one of the nude ones and also a black one um but i just don't know which one i just don't know which one um i've sent some pictures to jack to see what he thinks and hopefully he's gonna help me and just like that i'm in the h&m showroom so i'm in the h&m showroom i'm gonna show you guys around um to see their new collection so they actually have a limited edition collection right now which i can show you but i can't pick anything from that area which is absolutely fine um so yeah i'm gonna try some stuff on um show you guys around and just have a fun little hour trying stuff on chatting through things so this is all part of she didn't actually mention what collection this is um but i love i love this set oh it's a studio set it's a studio collection this set here is giving me 90s r&b um kind of vibes this is the area where i can actually try the pieces on so we'll have a look here got some cargo pants which are very popular right now however your girl has thick thighs and um they're not very forgiving um on my big legs so yeah that's some knits ah i tried these on actually remember tried these on in my hm haul didn't end up going with them because um i tried in a size 12 and i just felt like it was too tight on my thighs that's quite a cute top oh my gosh that's so cute Okay, I'm definitely gonna have to try this on. Ooh, another pair of trousers. These are like speckled. Here we go. You can see the texture on these trousers. They're a bit wintry, I think, but they are. But they're still really lovely. Oh, 
stripes i am obsessed with stripes another is it called fisherman i feel like this is called fisherman knit and then we've got some strap trousers over there coming around here which i love the look of this this is a beautiful beautiful jacket i actually have quite a few of these tweed jackets but i'm definitely going to try that one on um got a striped jumper here it's got some fringing at the bottom there and okay i'm not sure whether this is a dress or a top because it does look quite short so now the trousers another pair of cargo trousers ah so the jacket comes with a matching skirt love that i'll just give you guys an overall tour of the showroom just in case you're like new to my channel um so i think this area here is men's collection but again i'm not sure whether i can pick anything from here but this is all i think this is all men's collection and then we've got a little kitchen we have the changing room just over here it's a really lovely space i'm gonna try some bits on and um, i'll show you guys how i get on first thing which i am trying on is this top so it's like a lace top it's a lace top and then it has um two it ties in the middle here hopefully you can see that i thought it was really really cute like um for summer just a cute little top it worked really nicely with like a skirt or jeans okay so these are the cargo pants i thought i would try them on anyway just to rule them out and yeah they are definitely ruled out because they're definitely ruled out because um they're just they're not flattering i look like i'm about to go on safari and sometimes that can be a vibe but yeah i look very gen gen z which is not really the aesthetic which i'm going for but they are lovely trousers just not my style and i'm glad i tried it on because now i can fully rule them out i thought i was gonna love this jacket but i'm not sure so this is in a size medium and h&m can be a little bit all over the place when it comes to their sizing um so yeah this is in a size medium and it's just a little bit too big but i'm not sure whether that's supposed to be like the fit of it i feel like it's not supposed to be the fit of it but i really do like it not sure whether the lighting is any better here but yeah this is what it looks like i'm just trying to picture myself wearing this jacket i quite like it with my song mom bag I'm going to film a haul of everything which I got um, in London so I will be doing that soon but if you want to see like more of what I got up to over the three days definitely follow me on TikTok because I've been posting consistently over there and if you want to see the Skims dress which I actually ended up getting definitely follow me on TikTok because I'm uploading that tonight but anyway I'm going to leave it here thank you for watching bye